Hello once again audience, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to download CurseForge so that way you can play mods for Minecraft and I think it's just about any other game if you get your hands on. Here we have World of Warcraft and the mods for that. That's pretty cool. But we're not playing World of Warcraft. So, the new CurseForge. It is actually the CurseForge.overwatch.com because over, I'm sorry, overwolf, not overwatch. CurseForge.overwolf.com and that will be in the, the description. We'll have a link so you can just go straight to this website. And if you have a Mac OS, download it for Mac. If you have Windows, download it for Windows. If you don't know how to download, I don't know what to tell you because for some reason I can't download it a second time. But just just download, follow, follow the, you know, open it up, follow the rules, just do what it tells you to do. Um, it'll say, do you want this? Um, application or whatever to make changes to your computer you click yes and then you know finish up and it will pop up this little thing over here so let's get into curseforge and what happened okay so this is curseforge yes this is curseforge and you'll You'll start out with. You'll start out. Um, here. So, you're gonna want to click Minecraft. And it's gonna sit here and it's gonna install for a little bit. Just let it install. And then over here, custom, create custom profile. So if you want to play on, you know, 1.16.5, which is the newest release. Um, then do it. But if you want to play specific mod packs, like my Minecraft Comes Alive, the one that I just released a YouTube video on, then all you have to do is download this. This version. Whichever version that I tell you is in the video, that's the version you have to download. So. It says, The Sims in Minecraft. Minecraft Comes Alive, Mod Showcase, 1.7.10. So, if you want Minecraft Comes Alive, you have to go here. I'm sorry. You have to go here and go to 1.7.10, which is right here. We have to name this Minecraft Comes Alive. Simple. And then we gotta let it download. Oh, it already did. And it has no mods installed in this mod pack. But since we are on version 1.7.10, the correct version, all we have to do is type Minecraft comes alive, and it should pop up right here. Minecraft comes alive. So this is Minecraft comes alive. If you do not see this, Minecraft, and then under it comes alive, then you are not on the right one. Minecraft comes live, MCA, install. So now that it's downloading and it's probably already done because I've done this three times in a row already. There we go. And let's go back. And here we have my Minecraft comes live. And it should say right here, installed mods two. Do not remove this mod. I don't know what it does, but it, I'm pretty sure it does something that will help your game out. So here's the Minecraft Comes Live, and here is Radix Core. So that when you see these are here, just click play. Click play. Oh, no. Sorry, just click, click play once. And then this should pop up when you do. Minecraft Launcher. As you can see, um, you should not be signed in, but when you sign in, 
this is what should come up. Um, I'm using my Mojang account, obviously, um, but just sign up, sign in, and then go to, or it, it should be here already. Make sure it's not on one of these two. Make sure it's on your installation. Click play. Just check, put this little check mark. It doesn't matter if you don't. It's just going to pop this message up every time you go to play this. But click play, and then it should start preparing. When it's done preparing, I will see you guys um, on the Minecraft screen. Okay, now that we are loaded into the world, you're going to hear that fantastic music. Single player, create new world. And we're going to name the world Minecraft Come Comes Alive. We're going to be doing uh, creative because why not? And whatever. So, yeah. And since we have everything in order and everything should be working correctly, that, that should happen. It's okay. And as you can see, I have a crystal ball. If you do not have a crystal ball, you did something wrong. So, hopefully you didn't do something wrong. You should have a crystal ball. Okay, so that just means that the mod is actually installed because the crystal ball comes with the Minecraft Comes Alive mod. And that's it. That is how you download mods for Minecraft. Just remember to take the whatever version the mod is in and put that into the create custom profile you cannot just go to browse mod packs you have to create a custom profile because even if you go to all game versions and then you go to 1.7.10 down here and then you type it in minecraft comes alive then it will not show up. None of these are the actual thing. Because you have to. Oh wait, actually. Let me see now. Actually, I don't Oh, nope. Sadly not. So it will not pop up here. At all. Not sure why. It just doesn't. So you actually have to create a custom profile and download it and then add it into this custom profile. Oh, because these are mod packs. So these are mod packs. So when you type in Minecraft comes alive, these are all of the games that Minecraft comes alive has in it. So, you know, if you wanted Minecraft Real Life, then Minecraft Real Life would have a lot of mods. Actually, it does have a lot of mods, but it's compatible with version 1.7.10, and it has all of the mods in it that are compatible with version 1.7.10. So these are mod packs. That's why you can't just come over here and just look at it. Hopefully that helps, and that is going to be it for this uh, video, everybody. If you guys enjoyed it, you would like to see more, then please smash that like button in the face, like the boss you know you are, and I will see all of you dragons in the next video. Goodbye. Goodbye.